Hey, this is Aaron with Digital Inertia Productions. I am here, I was uh, watching a tutorial on some tips about how to make your green screen better and there was one of the tips that talked about using a plugin they had to pay for and I wanted to kind of show a way that you can get away from that. Uh, there's a really great um, effect that After Effects comes with that can help achieve basically the same thing and that is to basically create like a light wrap around your subject so that it blends into the background a little bit better. So this tutorial won't really focus on color correction or anything like that. So, um, so the images might not look the greatest, but you'll be able to kind of get a great idea as to how to, for free, be able to make your subject really look like they are part of the scene. So let's go ahead and get started with that. I'll show a couple different um, things. And if you go back into my channel, there's a couple videos that I have where I, I use this technique quite a bit and it works out quite well for me and I have this short film that I released um, it's called Rogue Ops part one working on part two right now so go ahead and take a look at that if I can I'll make sure I put it on the screen as well so you can easily click on that so let's go ahead and get started all right so uh, after effects got it open and hit on get a new composition I'm just not gonna worry about naming anything right now um, I have an image here which I just took from actual video that I use for my film. Uh, as you can see the green screen is not the greatest but it'll do for today's um, demonstration. So I'm just going to make that uh, image match the size of the screen a little bit better. Um, and I'm not going to bore you too much with, again this is just to show you how it blends in the background but I'll just quickly key out this image here. Um, I, I like to use a screen mat and I can see basically what's going on here. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the edges because I can just mask that out really quick but as you can see I can just make sure just right around the image is taken care of and you want to make sure that um, you see basically solid white for your subject and black around it. Just get that a little bit more. Um, Little final result, as you can see, some edges here that don't look great. Uh, just a quick fix here for our purpose, just to just shrink the edges a little bit. And as you can see, that kind of disappears. And again, this is not the greatest green screen job here, so I want to make sure that you do a good job lighting your image or your subject, lighting your green screen, and then that should take care of that. Okay, but well, we're going to work with this anyway. All right, so. The one thing that people want to make sure when you have, when you're doing this, is that when you're light wrapping your image, that or your subject, that um, that the lighting will actually change with the color of the background, right? So I have a couple examples here for backgrounds. I'm going to use this blue sky. As you can see, as you can easily tell, this image doesn't really belong. It looks like a cheesy green screen job that was done back when technology was either less or just amateurs were doing it. Um, kind of like me. So what we want to do is make this blend in a little bit more. Again, you want to sharpen color correct to your subject, but I'm not going to do that. Um, so what I'll do here is just a very easy, simple way of doing this is you get a, an adjustment layer. Make sure you have that on the, as the top layer, or at least the layers that you want to have it affecting. And you just bring in the effect glow. And so at first glance it looks pretty saturated, not very good. So the glow threshold I turn up to, you know, do whatever you want, whatever you feel like looks good, around 90%. And then what you want to do, have happen is the glow to kind of wrap around again on the edges of your subject. So that's where the glow radius comes into play. And you want to turn that up. And as you can see, now the glow is coming on to the subject. So it's making it look a little bit more blended into the scene. You can turn that up to 120 or whatever you see fit. I mean, the higher you go, obviously, the more it engulfs the image. And that may or may not be what you're looking for. Uh, for this one, I'm just gonna have it at about 120, let's say. Okay. All right, so that's basically that. Um, 
I'm gonna just put in another image to show the color changes. So I'll have this one here, it's a little bit more of a green background. And then, as you can see with the with the clouds in the background, the light is, or the glow is coming over onto the face or onto the hair. And then in certain areas you see the glow kind of affecting it all. It kind of gives it a nicer look. But, um, to kind of give you an idea what it does, what it looks like without. This is what it looks like without the glow. What it looks like with the glow. And that's basically it. I'm going to give one more example here um, of what you can do when you're compositing, like say, 3D images. So depends on if you have it, um, but basically a new solid. So we call this 3D objects. Doesn't matter what you call it. And then I'm going to bring in. Now this is a paid plugin, Element 3D, and bring in a scene set up, and I've got bunch of different images I can work with. Let's um, let's just go with this one here. Got this dropship I bought off of um, TurboSquid.com. It's got tons of great 3D models, and I'm not being paid to advertise them because they have no idea who I am. <laughs> but I do use this model, so I want to make sure I give it. So, their new camera. Okay, and I'm just going to back this guy up, and maybe turn him a bit, I'll just say that. Okay, it's a pretty cool dropship. Alright, again, I'm just going to bring in, let's just say, this blue sky, alright? And then, we want a new adjustment layer. And you're going to... We're gonna put a glow into that again. And crank up that threshold so it doesn't saturate the image. And then turn up again the radius. And there it is again, looking a little bit more like it actually belongs in that. And of course, there's, I should probably shouldn't be doing this because it's not really the purpose, but you can bring in the curves and lighten up your image a bit to make it look like it actually is outside with the uh, with the sun blowing, glowing, uh, lighting it up pretty good, so it's not too dark. Um, for some contrast, uh, you know, that doesn't look good. It's almost better to have it brighter, to some extent, anyway. And then you want to add your lights and everything to the model, too, and then you can have your light actually the color of whatever the sun is that you want it to be. Anyway, so that's just a quick idea of how to get some light wrap happening around your image. You just use the free uh, effect that comes with After Effects, and that's the glow. And uh, if you have any questions, um, please leave your comment below and I'd be happy to try to answer them in the future. Again, this is uh, Aaron with Digital Inertia. Again, please take a look at my other videos. I've got some royalty-free music, a um, couple short films I've done. One of them was to enter a one-minute film Stro film right competition. The other one is something I've just kind of been working on with some friends. Um, it's been a lot of fun. And uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.